my god so the cash app just announced october 25th something like that they announced that you actually be able to actually invest money with their platform and not for ten dollars or twenty dollars or a thousand dollars for a google company no only with one dollar now you might say tommy this sounds amazing it sounds awesome no one else is doing this but in reality <laughs> everyone else in the platform in the market has been doing this for a very long time for example Acorn has been doing this since 2014. Stash has been doing this since like 2015. So in reality, it has been going on for a long time. However, if you have a party at your house and your friends show up late, but they bring all the snacks and everything you actually want, does it matter if they're late? The answer is probably not. Nobody cares as long as you bring everything. However, my main point is this. If the cash app is late to the party, but that she brought everything you actually need to this platform in this market, well, it doesn't matter as long as it brings something new to actually help everyone. But in reality, in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly if they brought anything new, how it works, how they make money, and on top of that, how can you get started investing into the entire platform in this one video. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiny Bryson, I'm an accountant, and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Do me a favor, throw out the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, and on top of that, smash the like button, turn it from gray to blue right now, down there, below. Thank you so much, it helps the channel out a ton. Now, here's a question for you guys, okay? What app right now, or application, do you actually use to invest? Comment down below, let me know. I use Acorn, I have a whole video on how I made around 25% let well this year on the entire application. So if you wanna find out how I do that, I'm gonna link a video down below, but comment down below and let me know what platform. Do you use Stash, do you use Robinhood? Comment down below, let me know. Or are you using the entire um, Cash App investment tool? By the way, I also have a link down below when you sign up for the entire like um Cash App investing, you get five bucks. However, don't use my link just yet until you find out if it's worth it for you because in reality, there are a few things I wanna break down in this video. Now, the first thing I do wanna say here, guys, is this, okay? I love one thing from companies, and that's called transparency. I love transparency. However, to make this video right here, that might be 10 minutes or 18 minutes. Well, it took me around four hours of research. Tommy, that's pretty normal. It takes work, bro, you gotta do it, no. In reality, guys, it should only take me between like 30 to an hour or two hours max to make a video like this. And here's why, because all the information should be out there on the internet. However, and I'm also on the platform, but however, the entire cash app, you can't call customer service to talk to anyone. You can't just email people, they won't answer ASAP. And on top of that, you can't DM them or anything like that because they won't really work, they won't answer you at all. And on top of that, there's no information online about the entire platform. And when I go to the support section on their platform, well, everything is oblivious. There's not enough information about anything. So I had to literally dig, dig, dig through a million, not like a million, okay, but maybe like um like 100, 200 tweets online, talking about problems and seeing how they answer and getting all the information I needed. So in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go deep, but I shouldn't have to because everything should be out there and I don't appreciate when a company is not fully transparent. So here we go. Now, the first question I wanna answer is this, guys. Tommy, how do you invest money with the Cash App? Is it easy or is it simple? It's the same thing, I know, but there's a difference between easy and simple. There's not, okay, I just messed up. Is it easy or hard? There you go, I fixed it, okay? Everyone's happy now. Now, I wanna show you guys exactly how easy it is to invest into this entire platform. I'm not telling you to invest just yet. I just wanna show you exactly how it works and how you can actually invest. Now, this is my cell phone right here, and if you don't know what the cash app is and how it works, you can basically, it started out by sending money to your friends. Well, you know this stuff already, right? Like Venmo, PayPal, all that stuff, but friend to friend. But now, you can invest and also even trade currency with Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. So, the entire investment feature is all the way to the end before the entire like activity, so right here, so not here, not here, but all over your head, like right here, okay? Now, here you can see all the stocks and ETFs they actually have available. On, on this bracket right here, you have the Bitcoin stuff, but that's another topic for another video. But right here, guys, when you go into stocks, it shows you, for example, Nike and all these other companies. By the way, you can't really click this, which is very dumb. Why wouldn't you make it clickable on um, Cash App, people? Make this clickable, okay? It's not clickable. Coca-Cola, you can't click it. You have to scroll all the way down and find the company. So for example, this is my watch list right here. I have Disney, Visa, McDonald's, Nike, Apple, Walmart, all these companies right here. So if I wanted to buy something, by the way, you only need a dollar to get started, which is not that bad at all. With Acorn, you need five bucks, which is a lot more money. Oh my gosh, five dollars. But here's the thing, guys. If I wanted to buy, for example, 
Apple. I have an Apple phone. I have AirPods and I also have a Apple Watch, so why not invest into the company? So for example, if I wanted to buy one dollar worth of the entire like um company, I would click buy, I will click one dollar, I will click next. By the way, when I click next, it's gonna ask for my pin. However, for you, it will ask you for information, for example, your full name, your address, your social security number, because again, you are investing, and Uncle Sam wants to know exactly who you are and why you're investing money into US companies. Okay, this is important information. Now I'm gonna put in my pin right here. I'm gonna block it out because I don't want you guys buying stuff under my name. <sighs> okay, please don't do that. But here we go, right? I'm gonna block it out right here. And basically, it tells me, well, Tommy, here we go. It says total purchase is $1, Apple, no fees, and the total cost is only $1, meaning it has no fees whatsoever. But there is a fee. I'm gonna break that down later on in the video. Now, the main thing is when I click schedule, it'll schedule it for tomorrow because again, check it out, right? I scheduled it, which means that tomorrow, when the market opens around 9.30 Eastern and closes at 4 p.m. Eastern also, my entire, by the way, they took the dollar instantly from my account, which is crazy. So basically, they took the dollar, they added to my entire cash app balance, and once they do that, well, guess what happens? In the morning, they take the money out of that entire cash app balance and buy the trade instantly. So basically, tomorrow, when it buys the entire share, it'll tell me, it'll notify me. So that's how simple it actually is. But I have information to tell you guys, okay? Tell me, what about if I don't have any money in my cash app? The answer is, they'll take it from your debit card, just like they did for me, but they have a limit to it. So for example, my limit on how much money I can add to the cash app is only $7,500. Meaning that if I wanted to go beyond that, I couldn't. So that's the limit to it and why do they do this well in reality they probably do it to get you to get the debit card direct deposit and have everything on one platform which is fair if you ask me but in reality i would rather if it had no limits whatsoever when it came to investing now you're probably wondering tell me how does this work okay how is it possible you can invest one dollar into a company that costs over two hundred dollars or amazon over a thousand dollars or google over a thousand dollars so how is it possible I can invest $1? Is that a scam? The answer is no. It's called fractional share investing. Now how it works is this guys. Usually companies have trading windows, meaning that they only execute a trade. By the way, that means that basically they only buy stocks like, like twice a day basically, okay? So for example, if you have me, for example, I bought 10% of Apple and my friend over here bought 90%. Well, at the end of the day, when the trading window actually comes, they combine all those orders together to make one share they make the purchase, and once they make the purchase, they split it around to each person that actually bought the entire share, right? That's how it works. Now, this means that for popular shares out there, it's easy to buy these things because everyone is buying it. However, if you have something that's not really popular, it'll take longer to buy it because not everyone is buying it. So eventually what that means is that, you know, you have to wait until you have enough shares to actually complete the entire value of one share. That's how it usually works, and that's why fractional shares are not usually instant buys like for example robin hood you buy something when the market is open you bought it you have it just like that usually with these companies you're not allowed to do that because you're buying fractional shares however there is something different about the cash app that i will explain later on in the video now the third question i want to answer is tommy is it really free or do they have hidden fees the answer is it is free okay it's free to you as you guys saw when i bought the entire fractional shares of one dollar it was free. There was no trading fees. There was no, like, I just bought the entire stock. It was less than a dollar, like, blah, blah, blah. No, it was free. No problem there whatsoever. Okay, so that's awesome. No fees, free, which always sounds great to me. Now, number four is, Tommy, well, be honest to me, okay? If they're free, then how do they make money? Because you need to make money to keep a business open and pay employees. So how do these people make money if they're not charging you any money? Well, the answer is, guys, it is free, but they also do make money from a few things. For example, guys, okay, they earn interest on in money that's actually not being invested. So, for example, when you have money in the cash app and it's just like sitting there, well, they earn interest on that. For example, when somebody sends you $10 and you're like, okay, I don't want to pay that 1% fee, well, they earn money for those three days that you hold that money there. They earn interest on that. Now, the second way they earn money is by basically, remember when I said like, for example, if you want to pay 1%, you get the money instantly. Well, they make 1% and 1% from 15 million active users every single month, which is true. 
Well, that turns out to be a lot of money every time someone is impatient and wants the money ASAP, okay? That's how they make a lot of money. And this should also be making money from order flows. Order flows are basically a small fraction of money that companies make every time you make a trade and that's another topic for another video but basically imagine like you make a trade for $100 this should be making around $2.50 well not $2 okay this should be making around 2 cents 2.50 cents okay so 2 cents almost 3 cents or so okay per $100 so in reality it might seem like a very small amount but imagine you making so many trades every single day from 15 million users that adds up to be a lot of money and that is also how Robinhood makes money from trading fees but without really charging you the person a fee now I know what you're thinking guys you're probably saying Tommy if it's free to buy well, what about selling, okay? Do they charge you a fee then? And how long does it take to actually sell a stock and get my money back? The answer is very simple. Again, these are fractional shares. So to sell a share, you have to wait until all the people sell to actually combine that one share to then sell it and then split the money between all the people that actually bought things, okay? So on the website, it says that whenever you make a sell of a stock you don't want anymore, well, you actually have to wait around one to two business days to actually get your money now don't be discouraged that is pretty standard pretty average so i'm not complaining about this whatsoever so let's move on to the next question now you're probably wondering tommy well how do i receive dividends dividends is a small portion of the profits shareholders get every time like every quarter or so okay so how do i get this money well the answer is it's very simple okay you have a cash out balance so whenever the company pays out they take that money and they put it in your cash out balance very simple stuff very transparent about that i really appreciate that it wasn't hard to find that out whatsoever so you get the money straight into your cash app account and on top of that if you want to transfer it out you can you can transfer it out if you want to but if you want to transfer it out instantly again they'll charge you that one percent for instant transfers i recommend you don't i wish they had a feature where you can actually just reinvest the money without having to like you know like um like take the money out and reinvest again that's pretty annoying so i wish they were just like reinvesting over and over again but obviously they're not doing that right now so that's fine no complaints here maybe in the future now here's where things actually get a bit complicated guys okay now, you're probably wondering, Tommy, okay, I know how to get my dividends, but how long does it take to actually buy an investment? Well, the answer is, guys, okay, usually on apps like, for example, Acorn, Stash, M1 Finance, on these apps, usually, right, you have to wait until the trading window is open. That way, the application makes all the trades for the day and then splits the money across and then you actually get your shares. And if the app wasn't popular enough or the platform or the business wasn't popular enough, well, you have to wait a little longer until they can bind everything together to actually buy that one share of that investment. That's how it usually works, okay? So for example, I checked online with websites, I checked on the Cash App Support Center, I checked on the Cash App Twitter, I messaged them, I did everything I possibly could, I even emailed them, I got no response whatsoever as of yet, but it's basically saying from all the videos I've seen so far that whenever the market is open between 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can make a transaction and get your entire share or your portion of the entire investment right then and there. Now, from my experience of around four years investing with these applications, that is not possible. Like until today, I have not ever heard about that because usually... These companies have something called trading windows because again, there are fractional shares. So you have to wait until enough people invest it to then buy one share and split it among everyone. That's how it usually works. But the cash shop, according to the website, is not showing any evidence as how it works. So for right now, it kind of looks like they're doing it instantly. And maybe that's why they don't offer so many entire like investments, which I will break down in the next question. But for right now, guys, I'm betting that they have trading windows but it's showing that they don't have trading windows, okay? If you know anything out there, any secrets, DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I wanna find out exactly what's going on here because again, the company lacks transparency when it comes to this issue right here. Now, I do know for sure that they don't allow any day traders because they only allow you to make one buy and sell like three times a week, okay? So you can only buy a company one day, sell it the next day if you want to, but only three times a week. So you can buy all day if you want to, but you can't buy and sell over and over throughout the entire day, only three times a week. So maybe that's how they kind of evade the entire like training windows, but for right now, I just don't know. They don't have enough information out there and they're kind of like not really transparent about the entire thing. Now, number eight guys, okay? Tell me, okay, that's fine. They have fractional shares 
and they're also not transparent. But what about the investments they actually have on the platforms so you can actually invest into it? Well, the answer is they don't have all the investments out there. They don't have all the ETFs out there. They don't have all the stuff out there. Now, here's how I know. I looked up the companies I invest into. For example, one company I invest to is actually called Vanguard Small Cap Investments. It's an ETF. The ticker symbol is VP. Well, VB. V as in Victor. B as in Boss. Okay, you can look it up if you want to. And it doesn't show up on the Cash App. And I checked on Twitter, and people are reporting the same thing. Now, my theory is this: the reason they're actually doing this is because again, they are actually only showing up on the platform all the trendy stocks for example like um apple mcdonald's netflix berkshire hathaway all these big companies because again these big companies recognized companies are a lot easier to have people actually buy them and then do the entire fractional shares a lot faster so that might be the reason why they don't offer all the entire like um stocks out there in the market currently but i might be wrong about this because again they don't have any transparency with this company. That's why I like Acorn, that's why I like Robinhood, because everything pretty much is out there on the entire websites, on articles, but with this company, it's a little bit more hard to actually get into all the documents, okay? Now, number nine, guys. Tell me, how good is this app compared to all the other platforms out there? For example, Robinhood, Stash App, Acorn, and my answer is, that's it, really. It's, it's, it's okay. You know, the entire idea... By the way, if it does allow you to make instant trades with, um, for example, fractional shares just by buying things, that's amazing. Never heard about it before, ever, in 2019. That's awesome. That's why I said, if they come late to the party, but they bring something new like this, well, it doesn't matter if they're late. That's awesome, okay? So, currently, right now, the main pro is that, hey, you get fractional shares, $1 investing, you have no fees. However, the cons are... It's not Robinhood. It doesn't have all the investments out there. There's no borrowing a margin. There's no um, high yield savings accounts. There's no crazy cool debit card out there. Now, well, they do have a debit card, but they don't have a high yield um, savings account attached to the debit card. Overall, if you ask me, Tommy, do you recommend it? <sighs> the answer is yes, but it's kind of like a, a yes, you know, because kind of like it's a cool app. But when it comes to the investment app, I just wish, it's kind of like your friends, right? Your friends, back to the beginning of the video, okay? Your friends show up to the party late, but I just wish they brought the popcorn with them. They forgot the popcorn. So I'm happy you're here, but where's the popcorn? Where's the fun investing stuff that no one else has? Like, why don't you have a savings account this is yet, okay? So it's kind of like, it's a great platform so far. If you don't have a lot of money, you can invest with them and they have a lot of options. So it's kind of like better than the Stash app in a sense, but they don't have as much investments, opportunities, and like, stocks and etfs out there as the stash app but for right now they do have a solid platform and i do believe in the future we'll keep improving so right now i will not be using it i'll stick to my acorn app and also the m1 finance app but if you do want to download the cash app and check it out for yourself link down below and guess what if you don't like the app you still get five dollars for actually joining you can use those five dollars and go out there and buy yourself five dollars worth of berkshire hathaway by the way that costs around like $300,000, but you can be a partial owner of $5 of that stock. Isn't that awesome? I think it's pretty cool, okay? Now, guys, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, really appreciate it. On top of that, do my favorite, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, Uno Uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tiny Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch that video, for example, on the entire Acorn app and how I use it, watch this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel right now, click my face right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always, and peace.